All right, this is still one of the earlier matches of the season, but I did notice something that was quite interesting with this match that I think could be a major strategic point and uh, very valuable for the rest of the season. So looking at the red lines here, we want to focus on this robot here, 66666A, and sorry, we want to look at the blue robot, which is, I'm pretty sure is their sister team. Um, very similar robot design out of this one and the blue team. So we want to pay attention to how these two teams play a hoarding strategy or a kind of a a hoarding of like the tubes of the goal strategy. So as the match starts right away, this red alliance uh, is going to go for go for these match loads, right? This little kid here going crazy on these match loads. This might actually be middle school. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you watch the high school finals. This is the middle school finals. So, but they do play some crazy strategies out of these these big humongous robots. Uh, of course, you notice a lot of these big scores happen from from the right side. If you're facing the opponent side, you're, you're the right side of your the right close side or your left far side, right? These two corners, a lot of a lot of big plays happening here, and you can see that just a lot of match loading, and you can see that this robot is just is just getting getting itself stuck here on purpose, right? To not give away this very good position here, and you can see here this is the play that I was talking about, where you kind of just hold your position here, hold your ground, right, right here, you. Hold your, hold your position while your other when your opponent is scoring in the same goal, right? To make it so that they can't score it further, right? And once you're done scoring, you just you just push and bam, those blocks go fine. And you just hold, you just hoard. Because these are worth so much points, right? These are the majority of the block points come from the control zone and the long tubes. So kind of you do what you do is just you just you just hoard. And the same thing is happening over here on the other side, right? The other blue alliance is kind of doing the same thing, right? Once you're done, you just kind of push. And the red alliance here on the other side is actually doing a good job of kind of blocking that. But this blue alliance isn't doing as good of a job, right? So he kind of leaves here, and this gives another time for this red alliance robot to bam, push, and push all those blue blocks out. And while on the on this side, on the left side, this also is a good time for the blue alliance to push those blocks. But he's not going to, right? Because he doesn't feel like it's safe. And also those blocks are kind of far away now, because you kind of need a block to be at the very edge to be able to make that push maneuver. And now the Red Alliance is going to leave, feeling that it's safe to do so. But it's not very safe, right? I think a lot of teams early season makes a ton of mistakes, leaving like valuable uh, elements open, especially here. You're leaving so many, like blue has one block in here, right? At, this looks like it's toward the edge. And if it's not, only, only it takes probably one block to be, able to push all, like three to five of these off, right? So this is a perfect time for Blue to take advantage. If they can, come around, just shove like three to five of these off, right? So that's one thing. And same on this side, right? You, saw, you just saw that happen, right? I was about to say that Blue has a good chance to also push red blocks off. Well, red also has a good chance to push blue blocks off. And that's exactly, exactly what red does here, right? Once they have an opening, which is interesting because you see that I don't know if this is a uh, calculated teamwork here, but it's actually pr pretty nice. So this red team pushes the blue team away from this hoarding position, right? They push them away, and this red team, bam! There goes like six, seven blocks right off there. That That's so many points right there, right? Huge deficit now for that blue is in after that play. And now red, all the red has to do is just park here and get and just get control and not like not let go of their control, right? This is a huge play that just happened at the end here that completely just locked red this match. Right? If you wanna if you wanna rewind a little bit here, you can see that the position that red was in, right? It was a pretty pretty fair tied up match here. You you can't really tell which like who the match went to yet, right? Because blue controls one of the zones, right? Red controls one of the zones, and blue is majority on this tube, red is majority on this tube, right? So then this play happened here. I just want to slow down and kind of kind of talk you through this play, right? So this red is already trying to trying to score here, and this blue is trying to trying to stop them, right? So I guess the smart thing for this blue to do is to come around here and take advantage of this of this empty zone here and just de-score this goal, right? But this red six six whatever a right makes an amazing play, right? Shoving this blue out of the way, giving his teammate plenty of space, right? 
plenty of space to just shove all these blue blocks out. Let's see how many I'm gonna get out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten blocks right now. And he just he gets okay, he gets one, two, three, four, five, six. He gets okay, he's four of them out, right? That's still a lot. But the main thing is he changes the control zone, right, from blue to red. So now red has control of both control zones, right? I feel like that, that this could be one of the win conditions later on the season, right? Which is control zones. And it completely changes the tides of this match as now red controls both control zones. And now all now all red has to do is protect this goal, right? Because there's really not that much blue can do here anymore, right? They can shove some more blocks in. Maybe, like, they might be able to regain control zone, but, like, the damage is already done. So I think... I think the best play for red here is to get this spot right right here and hoard this side, right? Hoard this side of the goal. Or you can go to this side and try to push this one block off, but like I think the better play is to hoard this side so blue doesn't get any more blocks in, right? Because blue could technically still regain control of control zone if they score two here. But as long as the small red bot parks here for like 10 seconds and then go for a last second park and this big bot here comes here and just hoards there's no winning this game for blue right you come here you park you just park your bot here and you and you, and you just like stay here while this red bot here comes over and blocks here well, i mean this bot's already like screwed like this blue bot's already <laughs> they're stuck so they're cooked right so i guess that was that, that was a pretty safe play to to park here because this blue bot is completely stuck and it took them like five seconds to just get unstuck here. So it's a very, 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 very cooked match. And it's a GG. Yeah. Hey, they, however, did hit that park. And what I think could have been better to play here for the small bot is to is to stay around here and try to just pin this, this blue bot, right? So they couldn't park. But, I mean, they didn't get that park at the end. So, you know, at least they, they regained some points. But I think this is a, a great way to how to, a great showing of how to play uh, pushback early season at least like what some big mistake could be